when I released my end fight animation, a lot of people asked me how I did the fire simulation for the torches and end crystals. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is honestly really simple. It doesn't really take much time at all. So let's dive straight into this. So open Blender. First things first, I'm just gonna append a torch model from Blockscape Studios. Link Download link in the description below. Blocks, objects, and let's search for torch. Boom, here's our torch. Alt G to center it to the world origin and Let's enable the textures, because why not? So yeah, first things first, I'm just gonna change the shader to completely diffuse, because you don't need the torch to be glowing at all, since the fire is gonna be emitting light already. That's really it. Now let's add an icosphere. Scale this down. Actually, let's add a bit of subdivisions to it, so it looks more round. Put like right there, right in the tip of the torch. That should be good. And yeah, go to object, quick effects, quick smoke. Yeah, now let's scale this down to the size that we need it to be. This is obviously too big. Shrink, shrink this down. So the fire is going to be about the same length of the torch. So this, a domain like this should be good. Yeah. All right, so now let's change some settings. Go to physics properties, select your icosphere, change this to fire, because it's obviously going to be fire, not smoke. And domain settings, let's change this to 80 as a preview. Time scale. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess with these settings later. We're going to see how this looks like first. So change this to modular. Enable it res is resumable so you can resume the bake. And let's bake like 70 frames for now. Alright, it's baked. Let's play it. And first things first, it's obviously too fast. So we're gonna have to change the time scale. And I can see that the, f the flame is clipping. The flame is way too big, so we're gonna have to change the flame length or size. So let's free the data. Let's bring the time scale to like 0.4. I find that to be a good time scale number. And under fire, we're going to change the reaction speed to like 3. And this should be all the settings you need. And now, let's play this. The speed looks great. And the flame isn't really clipping anymore. It does touch the top of the domain a bit. But meh, no big deal. So now you can, it's pretty much, actually let's bake this at a higher resolution. And then we'll be ready to move on to the materials. Alright, that's done baking. Let's take a look. And yeah, now it's your FPS is going to drop because it's higher resolution. But the fire looks a lot more detailed now, so let's move on to shading. So go to rendered view and change your render engine to cycles because volumes look much better in cycles. I'm going to bring this to GPU compute. We need a bit of samples only to change to eight samples so it doesn't lag my screen recording. Now, first of all, this icosphere we don't want this to be to appear in renders, so we're just gonna disable all this in the ray visibility. So it's invisible, but it's still there. And now, select your domain and let's go to the shading. So over here, let's first of all disable the density because we don't want to see the smoke. Right now, we're only focusing on the fire. Let's add an attribute node, bring it to the left, change the attribute to flame, add a color ramp, plug this here, plug this here. And now bring the emission strength up so you can see the flame, and now tweak your color ramp settings here so it, you can see the contrast, looks a lot more contrasty. Change the, the color to like orangey yellow, something like that. Change this to E so it the fall off is a bit more subtle. And yeah, let's increase the emission strength to like a hundred. And yeah, that's really it. Now you can see a bit of 
interpolation at artifacts over here as well as in the flame you can see stuff looks a bit weird so let's change the interpolation in the material settings so down in settings volume change this from linear to cubic so this will be less detailed but it will remove the artifacts I guess we can add one more point here and change this change the value down so that the fall off looks yeah, like that let's bring the disable the world light so the fire looks more prominent I guess it's a bit too saturated so let's bring the saturation down emission up give more contrast yeah that's that's really it you can add a plane and you can see it's it's actually emitting light as you can see right here you can make this glow brighter actually now that I look at it it's actually glowing way too dimly so we can add a separate material if you want to so duplicate the entire thing make this one glow like much brighter like 1000 I guess add a mix shader mix these two together add a light pass node this camera ray plug it here actually switch this around like that and here it is so your fire would look your fire wouldn't look too bright because at a thousand emission it will look like white already so we're still gonna bring this to like 500 so it's it's not gonna be look the fire won't look too bright but it'll be emitting more light the fall off is too harsh I guess we can change that tweak it something like that and yeah that's literally it So yeah, you're done. Thanks for watching.